What? We're not using you today, dude. We're doing no foundation today. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, hey, what's up? My name is VNA Strick. Thank you so much for being here. So yeah, today I decided to do a video on this look right here. It's a quick laid back kind of video. Um, it's just what I like to do when I don't like to wear foundation, but I still wanna like look put together. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Really quickly, I do wanna mention that lately I've been getting more like personal type questions in my videos, which is super cool, like I don't mind at all. I obviously wanna get to know you guys back so you can get to know me. And so I was thinking, maybe like a couple videos from now, I would like to do like a Q&A or like a get to know me if you're interested in watching that. So if you have any questions for me, comment it down below and I'll just screenshot all your questions and maybe do a video and answer anything you want to know. Sorry this intro is so long. I hope you're still here. If you are, high five. So yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe if you haven't already. Join the squad. Squad. Join the squad. We have so much fun here. If you want to learn how to do this look, then just keep on watching. All right guys, so I do have my eyebrows done, like always. Um, I feel like if I did my eyebrows on camera, I would wanna go like super in depth to what I do, cause I do my eyebrows very like specifically. So I feel like if you're interested, if it's something that you wanna watch, I would like to do like dedicate a whole video to how do I do my eyebrows because it would just be too much. So if you're interested in that, let me know in the comments below and I will definitely film that for you. By no means is this like a minimal makeup look. So I'm first gonna start out with my Shape Tape Concealer. You don't have to use Shape Tape, you can use any concealer. I just like using this because it has really good coverage. So I'm first gonna dot it under my eyes, on my nose where I have redness, like around my nose, and then anywhere that I have like little breakouts just to hide them, and on my eyelids as well. Okay, and then I'm just gonna blend that out with a sponge. I do like to bring the concealer down over here because I do have some redness on my cheeks. So I just take whatever's left and like bring it down. So obviously I look very ghostly because this concealer is like too light for me and I don't really like like a super highlighted look. I like to set my concealer with this dark powder so it doesn't look so highlighted and it kind of blends in with my skin. That way you can't really tell too much that I'm wearing concealer. So I'm just going to do that. I am gonna go in with um, cream contour. This is so ghetto, but my cap broke. But I love this, so. Um, just because powder's not gonna stick to your bare face, so I do like going in with cream and then setting it with powder. So I'm gonna go in with my Wet n Wild contour stick, and this is in the shade Where's, Where's Walnut. That's cute. And then I do like to blend it out with like an oval type brush. This is from iBeauty. It's just nice and soft and I feel like you just blend out everything faster. I do like to grab like whatever's next or whatever's left and like just kind of put inside of my nose. Then I like to grab a bronzer. I usually go to my Milani Soleil bronzer. It's just like a really pretty baked bronzer, nice and luminous. And I'll go in with a brush like this and just set the contours. I know this is kind of odd, but since I am like looking a little pale still like on the inside of my face, what I like to do is get like a fluffy brush like this and actually take my bronzer and kind of just dust it all over my face, just lightly. Just because I don't like a super highlighted look, 
my face is coming off a little orange on camera but I promise guys like this looks normal I mean I go out in it all the time and people haven't told me that I look weird for the eyes I keep it pretty simple I just take the same bronzer that I used and I take it on a fluffy brush and just put it on my crease and then I also take it on a smaller brush and I blend it under my lash line and I also like to take a darker shade um, I'm just gonna use I have my Wet n Wild Contour Palette. I'm just going to use this dark shade on a pencil brush and I'm going to put it along my lash line and kind of just smudge it out so it doesn't look too harsh. I do like to highlight my brow bone so I'm just going to take any shade. I'll just take the same one from the Contour Palette and I'll take the, the bright shade and I'm just going to highlight under my brow bone. You can never forget this eyeliner like is my life like I probably have used it in like every single video but I literally wear this every single day with every single look because it just like makes my eyes so look so much bigger and like more awake oh my god it's life-changing not to be dramatic but it's life-changing like whoa look at those eyes Woo! and then I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline the Falsies Push Up Mascara, best mascara in the world. Okay. I took a snack break. Okay. So, <laughs> why am I taking snack breaks? Like, I've been filming for like 10 minutes. Um, so now that we have the eye situation going, I'm just going to highlight my, my inner corner because like, I have to highlight my inner corner no matter what kind of makeup I'm doing. And my favorite inner corner highlight as of right now is the L'Oreal Infallible Shadow in the shade 88, no, 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 888 Iced Latte. So for blush, I'm definitely a blush girl so I can never forget blush, but I am gonna put some Cream, this is dirty, oh my god, but I'm gonna put some cream blush first. This is the NYX cream blush in the shade natural. So I'm gonna put that with my little stippling brush. Just because since I don't have really foundation, I feel like the blush won't really stick to anything unless I put a base down first. Sometimes I do this with lipstick, and I learned that from my mom back in the day. I used to judge her, I was like, why are you putting lipstick on your face? And now I'm like, putting lipstick on my face. But today I'm going to be a little professional and put some cream blush on. And I also like to put some on my nose. Just so it looks like I've been out in the sun, just, you know, vacationing, because that's what I do. And then I'm going to go in with the Mellow Wine Blush by Wet n Wild. So for highlight, um, when I'm doing this kind of look, I don't want like a blinding highlight just because I'm trying to be a little bit more natural per se. So I like to go in with the Wet n Wild Precious Petals. The reason why I like this is because it's a little dark and um, it's like a rose gold color. And I just feel like this looks a lot more natural than like an icy highlight or a gold highlight. I actually wear this to school a lot. I love it. So I'm first going to go in with a fan brush like this just to kind of put it all over my cheeks and on my temples, a little bit on my forehead, and on my nose. I love putting highlight on my forehead. I definitely don't recommend doing that if you're like oily, but I'm not oily at all. So like, I just like being kind of like dewy all over. For lips, um, when I'm trying to do like a more natural look, I'm gonna stop saying that, I'm sorry. Um, I like to go in with a lip liner, and that's usually all I do. I would just go in with like some um, like lip balm or something tinted, but I don't really have lips. They just don't exist. I, I never invited them to my party, so they never came. And I have to line my lips, I really do. Um, it is what it is, you know? You can't have everything, okay? I, di I don't have lips. That's just what it is. I'm sorry. I'm going to use a Milani Color Statement Lip Liner in All Natural. Beautiful, beautiful lip liner. And it's super soft, so you can use it like as an overall color. 
Okay, and then I do like to set my face. Milani, make it last. Ta-da! This is how the look came out. Did you like that? Was that so dramatic? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This literally took me like 20 minutes to film, and if I obviously if I wasn't explaining it to you guys, it would take me like five to ten minutes to do. So I definitely, definitely recommend this look. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I hate being so repetitive, but hey, I mean, if you want to give it a thumbs up, I'll take the thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel. Join the squad. We like everyone. We have so much fun here, and we're growing a little tiny family that hopefully will grow into a big one. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a great day or night, wherever you are, and I hope to catch you in my next video. Bye. But since my face is still looking like, I just dropped so much stuff. If you like rice cakes, sweet chili, Rice cakes? <gasps> and no, like, I'm not sponsored by Popped Quaker Rice Crisps. I'm not. Not yet. You know, I'm wearing a tank top. I'm pretty laid back. Don't say that. Ta-da! That was so obnoxious. Ew. Honestly, I am pretty cool. Not gonna lie.